nine guns as well. So we'll move up two on your pegs. We're left to right, so as you stand on the pegs, one's on your left, nine's on your right, turn on nine of the grid two. So then, James, you got the Jack Pike tea with you again today. Yeah. And uh, weather's quite hot, so what are we expecting today? A difficult day. Yeah. <laughs> a difficult day. Birds that won't want to fly because it's red hot, no wind. But uh, early season, plenty to go out. Be a nice day out, but we've had to alter it ever so slightly because I'm a bit concerned about the heat that's coming. They say it's going to get up to 30 degrees at dinner time, so I'm just doing it a little bit differently. Normally, you'd go to a quieter to drive to start, and I think I'm going to have to scrap that and go straight to the best drives that I know will work because I think the birds are going to want to like dive a little bit. There's no wind, yeah, and I'm thinking just with the the heat i want to get the hardest drives for the staff done yeah especially with like the rough terrain and tweeds aren't designed for hot days are they yeah, totally totally so with the, with regards to the beaters do you have to do anything different for them obviously keep them hydrated yeah a lot of water out packs of waters cool boxes a lot of that and it's just trying to not rush the day but you know get most of the hardest drives done first because they are going to feel it today it's it's very hot and it's only going to get hot up essentially, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we're going to follow you for the day. So, yeah. if that's okay with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's fine. That's fine. So, see how uh, it goes on from the we'll outside. Have a chat after each drive and uh, see how we go. Yeah. No, that's fine. Huh? Have a good day. That we've got a load of partridge in these trees, the lads are just going to knock them in. A couple of flankers here and they'll flick them out like that. First time we're doing it, so I do not know what they'll do. Just, just pick what comes. Number nine's here, then we're going to line the track out down to number one. So we'll get in position. Being partridge, they'll probably come in two big dollops <laughs> and that'll be that, but we'll just have a go, eh? The beaters here do a fantastic job. They've got to be fit, haven't they? Definitely. How many steps would you say they do a day? Uh, I don't know about the partridge, but a lad, a lad last Friday did 26,000 steps in one day. 26,000 steps. If there was any youngsters looking to get into gamekeeping, what yeah. would your advice be? Yeah, I must say it's getting harder with all the pressure, like United Utilities bowing, and they're not going to renew any tenancies. But I'd still encourage it. I think 
there is a, a very positive future in different aspects of it, but it's a great job to be outdoors. So you've got 10 Spaniels, James, yeah. with yourself and Hannah. Um, I always watch them here and think how fantastically they work. How do you do that? It's a lot of work. So you, you've got to get a couple of good ones and you've got to keep adding to the packs and bring a few new ones through every time. And you've got to go back to basics and forget the trialing aspect of them because you want <clears throat> here, you want dogs that sweep, stick close to you and you want them to range. You want everything picking. So you come away from the trialing aspect because they just like to send a dog on a direction to get your bird and bring it back. We've just let ours run wild. As long as they've got the basic manners and they come back and they stop, let them run and let them pick and they'll sweep. You just need a massive game bag for when they're pulling stuff in though with 10. How we have brought them to do that is just letting them be spaniels and keeping that spaniel aspect in them. Let them run round and, and they, they, they soon learn to stick with you and they switch on to bringing the birds in. Right, all guns are in. Feel free to drive through DH. Yeah, that back push is just going on nice and steady. We'll be out of drop in with them in a minute, Charlie. There's a drone down here. Aye, I can tell you, Jim, you're not listening. <laughs> no, I've just sent him to check you've got your flag. Nice flag in there. Yeah. How'd you get on there, Gavin? Not too bad, as always. Yeah. Hit a yeah. few nice ones, missed more. No, there were some good birds. Did you get a few there? shots off? Yes, without doubt. I think you said there was a good number there, weren't there? 800 yeah. shots there, That's that drive. Dog, yeah. yeah. That was great fun, thank you. Got into them, though. Yeah, Found yeah, them. Yeah, there's plenty to go out. Early season, isn't it? Yeah, everybody, everybody's smiling, which is what you want from a They day, have been sensible, haven't they, to be fair? Well, they're sensible people, of course. Yeah. <laughs> sensible people with hangovers today. With regards to the shooting season, how does it start for you? Run us through the year. Well, we, we start organising pheasant pens and, and everything in June. So we start with our, feeding them all, and then we're into the first days of shooting in September. But we also do the grouse, so that side of things never stops because we're always on the traps and we're out monitoring them and we start with the grouse in August so then touch into partridge September, mixed days in October, November you're really mainly pheasants, get to Christmas 
generally like a week off, like if we can. And then uh, I'd say January, we're finishing the pheasants off later to the end of the season then. What's the biggest challenge of being a gamekeeper? Being organised. You have to be military organised. If you don't get everything set up, you'll have problems. You've got to be ahead every minute, like. Probably get to the post, Matt, aim somewhere near there. Yeah, we'll do. Top gun's in the same position as yesterday. Yeah, they worked yesterday when they were at the post. We'll try and get that big lot lower down. James, you've been gamekeeper in for a while now. How yeah. did you actually get into it? Just uh, family, like just doing little syndicate days and just took an interest in being outdoors and like the conservation side of it. And I just liked, as a kid, messing around, like having a few fen traps here and there set and walking around with terrier and just, my dad used to take us shooting. I just had a passion for it, like. And when did you make the move to actually become a full-time gamekeeper? Did you take over from your dad here? Yeah, we would just run a syndicate and then we, we decided we were going to improve the shoot a little bit. And we started selling the odd lead days. And then before you know it, we were selling quite a lot of lead days. So we were doing the work, me and my brother. And and then that's how we got into doing like the full-time, you know, from like grouse right through to the late season pheasants like. So it just developed itself with people's interest. We were having a chat on the peg earlier about um, you and your young family. How do you build all of that around with regards to everything that you've got to do here as well? <laughs> yeah, that, that's hard. I'm trying my best to like, give the family time as well as everything else. It's, it's so difficult trying to be at home to help out and do the jobs that needs to be done. Like It's difficult. So it's a bit of a family concern then. You've got your brother and uh, Hannah as well here today, haven't you? Yeah, they're help, both helping out. Hannah's running the dogs. We've got 10 Spaniels with us today. My brother's running the beating line. He's, he's in charge of all that and I'm doing the hosting. Has Jim got a flag? I hope so. It has been known that he doesn't take one with him sometimes.
Flag's up! Flag in this side. Flag in step up. Right, lot coming back, Jim Nathan. Flagging Nate. I thought that was going to end, and it didn't, and it didn't, and it didn't. Cheers, James. Cheers, Gav. You went all you boys. <laughs> what a day. Tough. Yeah, I'm hot. Yeah, yeah, I'm really noticed. You got the shots off, though. 1,700 yeah. shots. Should have had a few. Yeah, it's hard work for you boys for them. For them. Not me. Well done. It's so, a little bit unusual, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's for September. September yeah. Had a good day, though? Yeah, brilliant. Well, as always, as always, you always look after us. Spot on, pal. Cheers. Thank man. you. Thanks again. <laughs>